The Hyperloop promises to take you from Edmonton to Calgary in record time. The company behind the project is trying to move just as fast. If all goes well, we'll be able to stop construction, I would say, uh, by summer 2023. The high-speed system is being developed to carry passengers in a low-pressure tube at speeds up to 1,000 kilometers per hour. Maddie Simiatiki says it's a project with promise and uncertainty. I think there's a long way to go from here to there. There are technical challenges, there are financial challenges, uh, then there's regulatory and permitting challenges. Toronto-based TransPod says it has secured 550 million U.S. dollars in private financing for the high-tech transportation system. Founder Sebastian Gendron says that will help build the first phase of the project, the airport connection to Edmonton. But they need more. Way more, I would say uh, we need to raise, because the total value of the project is around... Uh, uh, 20 uh, uh, billion dollars. In 2020, the company signed a memorandum of understanding with the Alberta government to support project development. Transpod says they're now waiting for final approval from the province to begin pre-construction work and still need to negotiate a test track space with the city. In a statement, the transport minister says the government continues to look at the feasibility of the project. The first things we'll have to do is the environmental assessment the uh, construction permit and the land acquisition. Jandron says this initial investment proves there's a market for the project. But Simi Atiki cautions the brand new technology now needs to match the hype around it. I think the money coming forward now is, is, is noteworthy, but it still really shouldn't supersede the technical challenges as well as the social and political dynamics to make a project of this uh, real. If all goes well, construction of the full line will begin 2027. The future of travel, ready for the next generation. Morgan Black, Global News. The private funding came from a UK-based capital group in cooperation with the China East Resources Import and Export Corporation.